So today I'm gonna to talk about why EVs aren't always the cheapest way to go around. Um, this actually surprised me, but I found an article, uh, a news article um, on YouTube actually, where this uh, Detroit-based uh, news station put the numbers down of driving an EV versus a gasoline car. Big surprise, driving a gasoline car is cheaper in Detroit, and I'm sure it's probably the same all over the US. And that has a lot to do with electricity rates and cost of gasoline. While the cost of gasoline might be a bit more expensive than the average or, one, or, usual, or what's usual here in North America, uh, in, in Atlantic Canada, it's actually pretty high here compared to the rest of the country. We also have fairly high electricity rates um, for Canada. Some of the bigger cities and such have lower rates. Montreal has really fantastic electricity rates. But all of that, even our high rates here in Prince Edward Island are way better than the electricity rates all over the states. So when we get to EVs, um, and it's not always the cheapest way to get around. I've always said if your case counts for it, just get a hybrid. There's no compromise almost. The only reason to go all the way to an EV is for me really cost uh, per kilometer. It has to be cheaper to run. That's what makes sense. That's why I have my calculator. That's why I have this channel. If there's things that you do that can make this EV work for you, by all means, that's great. But if they if it doesn't work for you, obviously get the next best thing, with it, which is a hybrid. A regular gas car these days, um, doesn't make as much sense because a hybrid is a very small cost penalty. Not only that, it pretty much doubles your uh, range from a regular gas car, all because it can recover energy from braking. That hi a hybrid car or that plug-in hybrid recovers electricity during braking um, that a regular gas car can't do. It just goes to friction and heat and uh, in the brakes versus a hybrid or an electric car. An electric car actually ups the ability for the car to recover energy because of the bigger motors and the bigger battery, it can actually accept more energy at a time. So that was my impetus for going to an EV. I was able to recover more energy because I had the experience with a hybrid and the battery and the motor and the hybrid weren't big enough for me to uh, get the oomph or that I wanted, which is really the only reason I went to full electric. I know that the range isn't great. I don't use the range, so it was not a, a, a point for me. The other thing was I went with the Mach-E. Uh, it was either gonna be the Mach-E or the ID Buzz uh, because they were rear wheel drive. I'm just a fan of all wheel drive or rear wheel drive vehicles. There's plenty of front wheel drive uh, cars that will be phenomenal and great if that's what you're looking in, looking for. If you want the car primarily for what you put in the back or, or carrying the people, um, you're, you're up what you want, um, your options for cars uh, on your shopping options. Uh, so what I'm gonna say is I'll put the link for my uh, calculator again up here. And I'd love for you guys to comment with the electricity rate, the, the residential rate and the cost of gas Last week, where I am here, gas was 154 Canadian per 100 liters. This week, I've seen it go up to 169.9 Canadian per 100 liters. Um, put in your cost per gallon if you're in the States. Put in your cost per kilowatt hour if you're in the States. I'd love to do some cap comparisons showing driving a 1,000 kilometers with different types of, uh, of cars. I'm just going to go ahead and look up whatever cars you might be interested in for comparison. Put up their average fuel economies, and I'll put up the fuel economies, the efficiencies for different electric cars. Not only the Mach-E, I can use and look up what's there for the VW Buzz, for the Bolt, for the uh, Ionic 5 uh, EV6. So we can compare how much a thousand kilometers is going to cost between those vehicles or some of the standard uh, hybrid vehicles. If you want, use in the calculator, go ahead and use gas vehicles as well. Um, so happy searching. Um, and this is all about learning. And I was surprised to know that you cannot, in fact, always drive for cheaper on electrons in the States, which means really for the time being, I understand their how do you say their mindset? It makes more sense now knowing how much they pay for power versus how much they pay for gasoline. See you on the next one. Let's stay connected.